This presentation will be about classical benign lesions used in ORADS ultrasound. ORADS is a standardized reporting system used in imaging of ovarian and adnexal lesions and recently updated, which I will use as a guide in this presentation. The system defines ultrasound features of the classical benign lesions. I'm going to summarize these features with examples. Typical hemorrhagic cyst is unilocular, does not contain internal vascularity, and should contain at least one of these. The reticular pattern, a mesh perco, fibrin, or a retractile clot. There are two hemorrhagic cysts in the same ovary in that patient, with reticular pattern inside, like a meshwork, without any vascularity. These are, these are two typical hemorrhagic cysts. The tactile coat is an atypically shaped structure inside of the cystic component without vascularity. Typical dermoid cyst has less than three locules with no vascularity and should contain at least one of these hyperechoic components with shadowing, hyperechoic lines or dots, and floating echogenic structures inside of the cyst. There are two areas of bright components with shadowing in that patient, and this is a typically fat echogenicity inside of the left ovary. Large areas of bright echogenicities with linear echogenicities inside of the cystic component. This is an old but a good example with floating fat inside of the cyst. This is not a reverberation artifact. This is fat floating in the upper part of the cyst. Also, there are some other components. Typical endometrioma has less than three loculations as well and no vascularity inside. The content displays homogeneous low-level echoes or ground glass echogenicities. The walls and septations are smooth. The wall may contain echogenic foci attributed to the cholesterol deposits or fibrin particles. This is a typical endometrioma with homogeneous low-level echoes inside and no vascularity. Another one, this is a typical cystic component, but these two components are in ground glass echogenicity, homogeneous, typical endometrioma components. Parovarian cyst should be apart from the ovary, nearby the ovary, this is the ovary, you see, and this is outside of the ovary, the cyst, and this is another one. These are typical parovarian cysts. Typical peritoneal inclusion cysts are fluid collections with ovary at the margin. This is a partial volume of the left ovary, and this is the cystic component in the peritoneum with septations. This is a peritoneal inclusion cyst. Typical hydrosalpings is an equate with tubular structure, like here, enlarged salpings filled with fluid. In conclusion, recognition of typical benign lesions is important for characterization of ovarian lesions and for proper use of ORATs. Thank you for listening.